Call me obsessed, but I'm doing another video on this topic. Easily the most requested story out of the last 24 hours. Let's talk about this story out of Australia. So at the center of this story, you have the police in New South Wales, Australia, arresting the producer of popular YouTuber Friendly Geordies earlier this month for what they claimed was stalking the state's deputy premier. To get to this point, this story actually starts in 2019 during Australia's devastating bushfire season. At that time, you had Friendly Geordies, aka Jordan Shanks, a political satire YouTuber with about a half a million subscribers, absolutely blasting Premier Gladys Berejiklian for the state's response to the fires. And among saying other- So I find it interesting that um, they're- bringing up the fact that we like that this is happening on such a big channel love that but i i did watch this before and there's a reason why i'm doing this video absolutely blasting premier gladys berejiklian for the state's response to the fires and among saying other things he called her koala killer because of all the animals that died in those fires that then prompted her deputy premier john barillaro to criticize the use of that phrase on sydney radio then, June 18th, which was the last hilarious year, video reacting to that oh sh you know what that means? He's upset by it. And then Shanks, who's known for over-the-top impressions of politicians, goes on to a person, Vera Laro, uh, adopting a heavily exaggerated Italian accent. Exactly. Staring. This is for the good of the state. We must continue to trigger John Barillaro. Yeah, because it's hilarious, it is. I'm a logical koala killer. What the f**k is the body? I don't see the koala. Still good. What the f**k is DNA evidence, bros? From there, Barillaro himself directly responds to the video, calling Shanks' impersonation very offensive and racist. But uh, the back and forth did not stop there. In September, <laughs> Shanks actually rents an Airbnb property owned by Barillaro, and while there, Shanks accused him of corruption and environmental vandalism. While he didn't just him accuse him, he... Uh, after this, in... He didn't just accuse him, he actually gave evidence. Corruption and environmental vandalism while continuing to do the exaggerated accent. After this, in May, Shanks reveals that Verilaro actually sent him a letter back in December threatening to sue him for defamation. With Shanks saying the deputy premier really likes destroying the environment and he's using his office to enrich himself. I make fun of him for this, so naturally his response was to call me racist for putting on an mm. Italian accent while doing so. In that same video, Shanks then shows a clip of him confronting Verilaro while dressed as Luigi. And there, as Shanks has got to wait by far, his producer, Christo Lenker, then begins arguing with the guard while trying to speak to Barry Laura. John, I've got some documents in my room. Yeah, Back it out here. I got an Italian yeah. plot. Lanker then continues to try to push through to Bear Laro. The whole situation seems very tense. The guards are visibly angry. And ultimately with this, we see Lanker actually managed to speak to Bear Laro, who then says, So, also I'll point out with this situation, this is like the same kind of thing that the chasers do. Like, they've done this kind of stuff too. And, yeah. At the end of May, Barilaro launches official defamation proceedings against Shanks. And all of that now brings us to this month when Lanker... It's, it's going to be really interesting, by the way, with the official defamation hearings, because to prove it's defamation, you have to prove that it is a hundred percent untrue. Or launches official defamation proceedings against Shanks. And all of that now brings us to this month when Lanker was Maybe arrested not by plain clothes but... officers while at his home on June 4th. And this reportedly on charges of stalking and intimidating Barilaro during two situations. The first being the event where Shanks was dressed as Luigi and Lanker repeatedly tried to force his way to Barilaro. Mm. With the second reportedly happening just hours before the arrest when Lanker approached Barilaro at a funeral. And while this was already an escalation to a very tense situation, the arrest has also made things even more tense by the fact that Lanker's lawyer has accused the police of assaulting his mother during during the arrest. And actually regarding that, in a video uploaded by Shanks yesterday, we were able to see cell phone video of that arrest. Right, Mom, you yeah. can take my, no, you can take my phone. No, take my phone. Take my phone. What the f They're giving away evidence to try to um, run away with it. Yeah. yeah, like this is still like this still chills me. Okay? Who are you doing this? You gotta win! A 51 year old woman, you knocked me over. I tripped over. over. You killed my dog. I tripped over. Okay? No, you did not. Yeah, you yeah. pushed it no, away. No, no, you pushed me down. No, no, I tripped over. You By the way, way apparently the dog's you okay. You assaulted okay. me. You, no, just, didn't. you just assaulted me. You I've did. got witnesses. We told I've you got to got hand over the phone. I have got witnesses. You handed it to her. I tripped over you. You. 
This is like, if you know anything about psychology and all that, this guy is trying to push a narrative because he knows that people have filmed this thing. So he's like, no, this is what actually happened. You pushed That's me happened. down in my own home. No, I didn't. You That's all. There, there's a tone thing. There's a tone thing to it too. Like, if you guys know anything about like how people talk and all that, like. His tone is like, no, this is definitely what happened. Like, like it, it's like a, you, you try and you sort of raise your voice to try and convince people. Oh, you know? No, I didn't. You you totally totally environment. That's all. Also, regarding the dog, the dog actually wasn't dead, but the family still accused the police of nearly killing it. Also, blasting the police for setting what they said were utterly extreme bail conditions for Lang. Mm. They reportedly prohibit him from possessing images or even caricatures of Vera Laro and commenting on his personal appearance or behavior. Thanks all I don't like the fact also, like, I, I didn't say this in my last video, but I don't like the fact that a person who was under the same, like, government, you know, as in, like, a citizen of New South Wales is not allowed to comment on a member of New South Wales government body. Also condemning the arrest, noting that the police who arrested Lanker are from the counterterrorism unit, even referring to them as an extra legal mafia, which actually on that note, isn't the first time that that unit has faced criticism. It's been described mm -hmm. as Orwellian and as looming in the shadow of Big Brother. As far as what happens from here, you have Lanker set to appear in court on the 24th. Friendly Jordy is releasing a video where he's also trying to raise money for a legal fund. As of right now, Barilaro has declined to comment on the arrest, though he was the one who filed the police complaint that led to it. But ultimately with this story, and honestly anything else I talked about today, I'd love to know your thoughts. Now, my thoughts that Phil would love to know is that um, Phil had the opportunity to show the footage of what happened with the actual incident where where Christo happened to walk, you know, and catch like you know the thing at the park where John Barillaro's at the car on his phone. Phil had the opportunity to show the actual footage of what happened here, but he didn't show it. I don't know why he didn't, but to me, that sort of seems like Phil might be being a bit cautious because this is against an Australian government member. But I kind of also feel like that that is also not really helpful. I, I feel like that he should have shown that and it sort of doesn't really show Christo's side very well. In fact, the video that he showed that Christo was in where they went and, like, you know, where Joy Jordan was Luigi, like, he could have potentially, he could have potentially, you know, well, that video kind of does make it look a bit worse when you look at it that way but the thing is like out of context that video looks bad but he could have explained more about what has been going on with the actual case and the actual footage of the event where that led up to this i think that that would have been a reasonable thing to do he did not do that so that is my big issue with this I don't know why he's done that I do know that he tends to like to put himself in a neutral position but I think that admitting that one little detail is kind of like I guess sucky whether it was like accidental or not uh, I think that he should have put that one detail in but I am glad that there are big channels talking about this because big channels talking about these incidents lead to people asking questions and then going and searching for the actual material themselves. So uh, all in all, it's a good thing, but I'm kind of like, I just am concerned that the way that it was presented may have painted them in a bad light unintentionally. Anyway, I guess I'll leave it at that. 